Hello, this is a tutorial on how to export objects from Blender to OBJ and then to import those objects into uh, Proteus, uh, apply, convert them to brushes, set up the textures and a few problems that, I found, that you may find along the way. So here I'm just looking at one of my Blender projects. This is Blender 2.91.2. Uh, so I'm just going to start with these two objects here. So I'm just going to Shift and H to hide all the other stuff that we don't need. And for start, I'm just going to export the uh, the floor here, if you will, uh, of this room. So I've selected my object and I have a script that I'll include in the link in the description for exporting everything that is selected. I'm just going to create a little um, folder for that. YouTube tutorial. Let's change this tutorial. Okay, so this script will select all of the objects that you have selected. So you can have multiple and then it will output them with the names of the objects. So we can press Alt and P to run that script. And then when we go back to this YouTube tutorial folder, we have our material and our OBJ file in there. You can also preview it in um, Paint 3D if you're on Windows just to check. Yep, that does indeed look like um, an OBJ file. So if we go into Proteus, and then we go to the import obj and now we can double click floor canteen and interestingly there is nothing there okay so this is an issue that i have figured out how to solve so if we go back into modeling and select uh, go to edit mode and select the vertices if we actually extrude these down just a small amount um, by 0.2 then we can remove these faces that we've created because what I've found essentially is that Proteus doesn't like working with flat brushes at all they need to be three-dimensional brushes if you will so I'll just delete those faces and since we're only concerned with the top part we will flip the normals and now if we select this object we can export it again. So let's go back to scripting. Alt and P to run the script. And then we go into, there's a handy function here to save us going through all that mess again. We can reload the model. And as you can see now, we have our object in there. So there are these extra um, things that we can actually see because the uh, normals for the side bits aren't set up correctly. But it doesn't matter because we're not using those. Uh, so now, we want to start texturing this so we can convert it to a brush and then to apply a material we can go to the material browser I want something that stands out here we go panel crossbar gen fault in order to apply a material to um, uh, to a face we in fact have to select do uh, face select so here are the various faces let's just select one for now so we can click that click crossbar material in our little palette down here and click apply material and you may notice that it doesn't look like the texture that it should be so in order to do that we need to change in the property inspector on the faces we need to change the face mapping type to world and this will actually uh, this is a pretty poor example of a texture actually so let's switch back to a different one something like a uh, stone brick tile that one tiles much better and we can go ahead and select the other faces we'll have to change once in the inspector, if you change one of the properties, when you've got multiple things selected, it changes for all of them, which is quite useful. Um, so we can apply the texture there. And as you can see, it's also uh, joined the textures up nicely because it's on world um, texture mapping. So if we actually move this, it will just extend the texture out. And then, of course, you can also use UV to move the texture. So you can actually move that texture within this area, which is quite handy. Okay, so now we want our other mesh. So we select this one, 
run the script and this one is the walls object so if we go back up to import mpg obj here we have our other one and this does not need any tweaking because it's already a 3d non-flat shape so we can go ahead and convert that one to a brush and then go to face select and then here we go so we can select these faces change the face mapping type and let's pick a different one for this one let's go with a, a like sort of a cobble brick kind of a thing there we go and then we can also do the same on the other side face mapping type and apply the brick tile so now if we go to asset browser function and play a start press play play map and then we should be able to see our nicely textured blender objects in the game and of course it generates because it's brushes they will collide and things like that so yeah that's that uh, so I hope that was helpful and uh, thanks for your time